Okay, welcome to 3310. We're continuing our discussion with uh, working with files in Perl. Uh, this is a lab review. So these are all the things that I think you will need to know to be successful to complete your uh, working with files in Perl lab. So what I want to talk about are just this, this idea with, um, again, our Perl template. Uh, I want you to be able to set up some variables in the Perl lab. So in this example, I've set uh, a default directory and this is a directory where I'm going to keep data for a lab. I, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you use a, a lab and lab number sort of structure. And in this example, I'm using, I'm saying, for example, lab three, and I've set a data folder um, to keep the data. In this example, I'm also saying that there's going to be a file in there and maybe you can name it something better than just nouns, but that's the, the name of the file. Um, and then there's a second file that will also be contained in that folder. Uh, the next section of the lab, you'll need to open files. So going back and reviewing your, your lab or I'm sorry, the, the file handles uh, section. What I'm saying is, um, for and, and again, I, I don't want you to follow my examples exactly. You can see I didn't do a very good job where I'm setting the path name because I didn't add the trailing slash to my default directory. So I should have root documents, labs, lab number, data and then a trailing slash after data but because i forgot to put it there i have to add the slash between the default directory and the file name but basically what i'm doing here is i'm opening two files i'm opening a file handle called file and a file handle called file2 standard input the default directory and then the file name i'm positive you can come up with a better method than that. In the next section, after we've got the files open, I just want to count the number of words that are in the file. So in this example, uh, I just say uh, count plus plus while the there's anything happening in the file handle called file. Uh, I've set up a second variable called count to so count to plus plus while file handle file two. Uh, again, I, I sincerely hope you'll, you'll be able to come up with um, better variable names and syntax. Uh, then of course, when you're done working with files, make sure that you close the file handles. So what that'll do is that'll give you a count of the number of words that are in each of those files um, as listed here. Uh, you can also see in my variable section, I probably should have set um, variable count and count to equal to zero, which will initialize those variables. Okay, so we count the words, we close the files. Now we want to put all those um, words from the files into an array so we can work with those uh, and randomly select some of those words. So what I'm doing here is I'm opening uh, the file handle again. Um, standard in the default directory and the the file name and i'm sending a new array so the entire array is equal now to that file handle so what this is doing is setting an array called an array nouns that's equal to um, the file handle file so it's it's literally opening that text file and putting the contents of that text file into that array. Of course, you want to close the file when you're done again. Uh, I do the same thing for the second text file called agent nouns. Uh, again, close those files. I've already closed them here. Just make sure that you close the files when you're done using them. Um, here's a method for, um, say you want to just, you want to print how many words are in each of those file handles. So I'm saying print, there are count variable words in the variable that is the file name with a new line. 
um, do the same thing for the second file. Here's a, a different method that you could use. Um, this is con using the concat con concatenation. So you say there are um, the scalar of the entire array. So there are, quote, or I should say print, quote, there are plus the scalar of the entire array nouns, which gives me basically in a number that is the length of the array plus quote words in variable name nouns, which is the file name and then a new line. So those are a couple different methods that you could use to print output um, with just displaying the, the count of words. Uh, now I want to randomly select a, a word out of that array. Uh, you could also think of it as just randomly selecting uh, an element from the array. So I'm going to set a, a random noun variable and I'm going to say that's equal to, and again, remember we've set the array of nouns and I'm going to select the element number. So the element number is with the square bracket, random and it's gonna be a random integer from zero to the array of nouns length. So remember, at array nouns is addressing the entire array. So that's basically saying my random noun is equal to a randomly selected element from array nouns. Um, and again, use random um, agent noun. So now we just want to print those two randomly selected words. So print random noun and random agent noun. That's That should be enough to uh, complete the requirements for the, the lab. Uh, again, uh, these are just some points and, and tips to help you be successful in the lab. But, but please make sure that you um, make the lab uh, much better than this example, choosing uh, uh, much better variable names and also remembering to use your uh, header block with descriptions. Uh, also make sure that in your labs that you use lots and lots of comments. You want to be able to comment basically every single line that you add into your lab. So you should be able to make um, detailed comments on all of these uh, lines like for example these lines here where you're putting words into an array so you know exactly what's going on.